Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I'd love it if you stayed and subbed. I never did get to watch The Crown, got caught up with other things, had a late dinner and I've just had some jelly and squirty cream. Ooh Lisa are you listening? Uh, she's really pumping these vids out lately isn't she? Does she need the money? Shall we jump in? Hang on, let me just check. I haven't been watching anything on double speed. <laughs> Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today we're gonna talk about how to stand out and look your best at some of the holiday parties that you'll be going to in the next few weeks. I'm not going to any holiday parties in the next few weeks. Is that what's going to make you stand out? The stuff on that rolling rack behind you? All the black and the off-white and the, the nude? That's really going to make you stand out. What's going to make you stand out, Lisa, is you hiding from food. That's going to make you stand out. In particular... Oh, and put the fucking rack in the closet or have the clothes upstairs. If you haven't watched her empty house tour and you wonder why I keep getting annoyed at her, watch it. She's got the whole fucking house and she's still... The whole of the upstairs, closets all over the place and now she's got a fucking rolling rack of shit in the bedroom. Neighborhood parties, maybe going over to a friend's house for drinks, maybe going to a wine tasting, maybe just going to a bunko get together. Or Maybe to a wine testing. What the fuck? Is she just pulling these out of her ass now? Let's think of a load of parties I can make up because I've never fucking been to one. And if I was invited, I'd be too fucking scared to go to anything. And what the hell is a bunko party? <laughs> Sounds a bit rude. In the UK, doing the do's called a bunk up. So <laughs> you'll get the idea of where my mind just went. Or something like that or an after work party so these looks is that where you take the keys to the tesla and you throw them in a bowl oh i just thought they were there to keep them safe until we went home mm -hmm. are going to be using some of your elevated basics there's eight pieces here this video is in collaboration with lily silk i took each piece and styled it with why can you not say sponsored by? I'm getting paid by Lily Silk to make this video. Right from the get go, everyone knows what page we're on. With my existing wardrobe to put together something that I would wear if John said, tonight so-and-so invited us over, or if I'm busy all day and then we run over, like this used to happen to us all the time, is I would be busy all day and then we would go and have dinner with friends or go over and meet three other couples. So When? Really? Did she just make this all up as she goes along? Has she forgotten that she's practically documented the last 10, 12, 15 years, however long she's been on here? And we know what she does because she tells everything. So that's what I have kind of put together here. It's not extremely dressy, but it's not extremely casual. And actually my vibe and my style for parties is I want to be me. I want to be comfortable because I think that is very important. I think you should be able to stand. You should be able to walk around. You should have good posture. You shouldn't be wobbling. She's back to the posture thing again. Has she been reading the bakery? They really don't like your posture on the bakery. I don't like your air condition and your lack of plurals. I don't like how you make John do everything and you take over the entire house. But what I really don't like, Lisa, is the fact that you still have not apologised. Oh, just forget. She's done that well, hasn't she? What are mums? Oh, just put them nasty thoughts out of your head. Wow. 
on heels or have something on that just makes you so uncomfortable or if you're wearing something that isn't your style like if i tried to wear a big dress with huge ruffly sleeves or something like that that just really isn't my style i would be very uncomfortable lisa your age demographic already knows how to dress themselves they know what they're comfortable in they do not need you to tell them that they need to dress comfortably. They know. I would not be holding myself the same way. I would not want to stay. I would probably want to sit down. I don't think it's the same. I think part of standing out and feeling your best at a party or a get together is being in your own style, your own vibe, but maybe bumping it up a notch, maybe just with one piece, you know, different pair of shoes, a bag, a big pair of earrings that you normally wouldn't wear. So I'm gonna go through each outfit and tell you why I chose it and maybe a different occasion that I think it would be good for. When I go to a party, I usually don't put my hair up or, you know, do the cliche normal things that people would do. Like for instance, John's Christmas company party. It was not hard for me to pick out a dress because I know my favorite look. <laughs> I can't believe she's actually put that picture up from the Oliver party. And are these going to be the only two pictures? Because these are the only two fucking parties that she went to. She used to go to John's Christmas party at work. That was it. The only thing. And then she got invited to the Oliver party. That's why there's two pictures. And it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I've got a really tickly nose. She wants us to believe that she's out fucking jet setting it, partying like Brooke every night of the week. Mm -hmm. Look is a slip dress with like a faux fur heels. Like um, one time we went to a wedding and I wore like a little. One time, yes, I was just about to say, I remembered this very well. Who dresses like that to go to a wedding? And who has someone taking your photos while you're walking along the road in a fucking dress cut up to your hoo-ha with big clumpy wedges on looking like the local hooker? I'm sorry, I've said it. Upstaging the bride. Do you know what I mean? Nobody goes dressed like that to a wedding. Dress with these big Gucci platform heels. I know I want to just be myself and just bump it up that, a little notch and be that much more of myself. I bet she never wore them Gucci shoes again. I don't ever remember seeing her wearing them. Let me tell you about the promo codes that Lily Silk has given us. And if you follow me through the Reward Style Conference or the Like to Know It Conference, I wore one of their outfits, I think on the first night. Wow. I wore that little ruffly camisole with the pants that match. And I also featured that exact same outfit in my last Lily Silk try on. And I will link that up here. They have just gone above and beyond the silk shirt. I mean, they've still got the silk and the cashmere basics, which now that I have gotten older, I appreciate how silk and cashmere feel. Like when you're younger, I don't know if you appreciate spending the extra money to get something that feels so good, that breathes. When you're younger, you spend as little as possible on clothes and stuff, so you've got money to go out and drink. Am I wrong? No. Nobody fucking worries about what they're wearing when they're younger. They go and get, they buy stuff from Shein or wherever. Or who was the other cheap thing? Anyway, they get clothes from there so that they've got something different to wear when they go out and they spend their money on their night out. They're not asked about wasting money on cashmere and silk. And even if they had it, what would be the point? They'd get one piece that wouldn't go with the rest of their wardrobe and they'd be terrified to wear it to a club or whatever. So, no, young people don't appreciate it because they don't fucking need it when they're young.
Jeez Louise. That wears so well. And all of their silk, like you can put it in the machine on hand wash. Okay, here we go. 12% off Lily Silk Everything coupon code Lisa D. So I, of course, will put all that in. 12%? It's hardly worth the fucking bother, is it? 12% information down below and i will put the link to each piece and hopefully i want to know how much she's getting paid for this video and how much of a kickback she's going to get on everything that's ordered well her fucking stupid go skipping off to lily sink 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 lily silk going oh lisa got us a discount of 12 percent like all the fuckwits on that last video telling her oh thank you for all the tips lisa that's amazing i'm gonna use them i i worry i really do i worry for the world if this is the sort of people we've got in it and one of them's a mare really everything that i style each piece with if it's available or if i can find something similar i will try to link that below too because i really tried to wear different shoes a different bag and even different sunglasses in each look because to me that's a big deal that's part of my look let's start with the first piece which is the cashmere cropped tank this is divine you got to notice how long the straps are because when i first saw this i thought oh no i'm not going to be able to do it i'm going to have to give that to brooke my daughter but i tried it on and of course john loved it and it is just fabulous feeling it is so cozy not scratchy it is just a beautiful piece. to be fair and i'm not often with lisa I have to admit, I would love to be able to wear a crop top like that. Because like uh, most of you know that have been here, my mother told me I was fat and ugly every day in my life. So I thought I was fat and ugly. So I never wore any of the fun things I should have worn when I was younger. And now it's like, I'll never get a flat stomach like that. Like completely flat. I don't know, unless I wore some a girdle under me jeggings or something but i really would love to just be able to go out in a crop top i don't know if i'd have it as low with my tits hanging out it might be a crop t-shirt but i think it looks cute the little belly button showing but i thought she didn't like her belly button wasn't she going on about getting nipple covers for her belly button are they the carry whatnot shoes that she's got on or are they something else she's wearing? Because I've never seen her wear them either. Or the taxi shoes, if anyone remembers those. And then the 900 pairs of the Valentino rock studs. Where did they go? Piece. It comes in several colors. And the way I styled this so that it would be appropriate for a get together or a party is I took this Good American Blazer now notice this is a double breasted blazer. What that's going to mean is it's not going to be as open. When you wear a double breasted blazer, it kind of shuts. And so you're only going to see glimpses of what you're wearing underneath, or in this case, your tummy. And I did wear some higher rise, mid to high rise jeans to help with that too. But I chose this under this with my air ayr jeans i love the mix of like textures and vibes styles vibes i am so sick of that fucking word i'm gonna send hrh a message and say can you please find another word because vibe has been done to death and as soon as she starts saying something else, they'll start saying something else because everybody copies her. <clears throat> and these jeans just have the perfect little hem to showcase your heels. They show your ankles. They're just a really nice pair of jeans. You know how I feel about the Good American Blazer. I think it is just fabulous. It's so comfortable, but it really gives you a good look because it's that shiny scuba type fabric. And it was just a perfect little set. Let me show you the 
shoes that I put with it. They're Gianni Beanie, and they are an Amina Mwadi knockoff. I got... Who? I have no, who, no idea who that is. Eh, they're not what I thought they were. They look blue in the clip these a few years ago i tell you these were so good i didn't it like cured my craving for the amina and they were just really hard to get back then and now it's just kind of like i'm over it these are good for me but see how i took this with the jean it's a shame you don't do that with everything lisa so you've just said to yourself i got the cheap knockoff and then i didn't need the thing so why can't you do that all the time or just wait a fortnight and see if it goes on sale or if you go off the idea but no you can't do that can you and the gray and the jacket so the little rhinestones really add something to it and just all of these nice textures really make a difference and then the jeans just keep it comfortable and you always want to be like, do you ever look at someone and say, what made them think of putting that together? That is so cool. I'm going to try that. Try to be that person that inspires others to experiment. Oh, do you think that's who you are? You think people look at you and go, wow, I wonder what made her put them together. Yeah, they do. But they don't want to go home and fucking do it themselves. It's like, yeah note to self don't wear that with that it looks fucking ridiculous and be themselves and think outside of the box to me the worst thing i would rather stick out for something kind of uh, different than to blend in to just look like everyone else that's just not what i want to do i'm not the kind of person who asks everyone else what they're wearing i just kind of decide you know how i want to feel that night how i want to present myself and i go for it so I was really excited how that turned out. And then the bag I used for this one is this old Michael Kors bag. Brooke and I used this both. I think we got this like at a Nordstrom sale maybe, or maybe at an outlet. I cannot remember, but it is a really nice little going out bag that I use all the time. It's just the perfect little shape and size. And this kind of pulled in the gray from the crop top, you know, in the outfit. So that was, that was fun. And then the sunglasses I chose for that are these Gucci oversized sunglasses. Okay, the next item from Lily Silk is this silk blouse with the covered buttons. It is gonna be one of your basics, your workhorse, your go-to pieces in your wardrobe, and it feels so good on. These are just wonderful to have. They're timeless. I really like this particular one. I spent far too many years of my life wearing that day in, day out, as part of a fucking uniform. It's the last thing I'd wanna wear now. Too. It's not as silky satiny. It actually has a just a really cool texture to it. Just beautiful. So what I did is I took it and put it with the oh. magic pants from Ripley Raider. Now we know what the magic pants do. They enhance your camel and your ass crack look. Are these three sizes too small, Lisa, or something? Why? If you're wearing something like that, why can't you have something, de a long tunic or a long shirt not tucked in, covering your bits up? That's why you fucking stand out. And isn't holding your bag up on your shoulder like that frumpy? To make it just a little bit different and to give my own little style spin I they're too tie fucking small for you you can see it when she's walking wow how could she look in the mirror and say they're a good choice the blouse and then the shoes I use with this are just my go-to shoots <laughs> you can tell how much I've worn them I have just beat these up these are just must-have shoes Oh, can we see your toe prints in them? That's really frumpy if we can see that. I think even if you just wore... 
state of that? I'm sorry, what the actual fuck? If I was John, I'd been like, whoa, hang on a minute, you're not going outdoors in that? No way are you leaving the house in that. Same as them other fucking things she had on the other day. Lisa, wear a long top and cover the camel. We don't want to see it. Now I've got midnight at the Oasis going around my head again. <laughs> For these two, a few events, they're such a good look. They go with so many things and they're so comfortable. They are worth it. The bag that I chose to put with this, just to give it a little zip and pizzazz, is this little stod. Zip. Who says that? Just to give it a little zip. Bag, it's beaded. This would be a good look for an after work party or after work get together with friends, you know, to have drinks. I'm supposed to get together with two friends soon. That would be something that I would wear just to meet in the afternoon and have a, you know, a few drinks or whatever. <laughs> you don't drink. See, she's lying. She can't even keep the lie up because she knows she's lying. You don't drink. You're too scared to eat. Unless they want to go shopping with you, you ain't sitting down with friends nowhere. <laughs> Diet Coke. And so I put on my Ray-Ban aviators. These are the 62 millimeter. I'll put them on now. They give you a little bit of a different look because they're oversized, but I love them. These are another just go-to, must-have, in your wardrobe, use for the rest of your life pair of sunglasses. I really love these. This, I think, may be the most loved piece from me and probably for you guys. This is the Lily Silk. It's like the tie neck blouse. It is beautiful. This blouse, I think everyone could use this in a different way. The sleeves, look how pretty, like the little teeny, it's like not gonna give you like a big little girl ruffle, but it just gives you that little bit extra. Look at the back. I love like all of those pleats across there. And then the tie neck is so versatile. You can do, you know, just tie it. You can tie it in a bow, or my favorite way is just to let it go. I love this. I think everyone would be able to use this in their wardrobe. It is just with denim, with pants, with a skirt, a pencil skirt. If you have fabulous legs, put it on with a little pair of dressy black shorts with tights and boots or something. It's just one of those classic pieces that you can just use in so many different ways. I Can we see her in little black? I don't want to see her in little black shorts. That'll be the next thing. That's what she's gearing up to buy short shorts I chose to wear it with my leather pants these are from frame i got them at a local boutique and i love them they've already stretched they just fit my body perfectly faux leather or leather just the mix of the texture why can't she do that wandering up and down that she does outside the house upstairs fair enough if all her clothes are downstairs and she has to she won't bring a rolling rack up there okay but can you not just have the camera set up everything ready to go and just go and do the walking around thing up there because you have to bring the camera out walk up and down bring the camera in da, 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 da. what's the point are you trying to make yourself look like some sort of celebrity to the neighbors or something because I said to somebody earlier, they were saying that they couldn't cope with a house like hers with no blinds on the windows, that they wouldn't want the neighbours seeing her. And I said, yeah, I just, I can imagine the neighbours and the men are like, come away from the windows. Bob, Bob, you've got to come and see. You'll never guess what she's done now. She looks like, look, look, she, look at the clips and the thing in her hair. What does she, you just know that's their evening entertainment. Because the lights are on, you can see straight in. It's like, oh, we're going to watch Netflix. No, no, Lisa's doing her hair. <laughs> I'm watching that instead. Uh. And this being 
soft, frilly, and feminine, and this being a little, you know, tougher and not biker, but you guys know what I mean. Just the mix of vibes and fabrics make this interesting. And really, leather pants and leather skirts, they have been around. Oh, sorry. Do you remember that when she got that bag and we were all calling it the colostomy bag? <laughs> I thought she'd got rid of that long ago. Wasn't there a nude one as well and it really did look like a colostomy bag? Really, leather pants and leather skirts, they have been around forever. They are a staple. It's kind of like leopard. Leopard is not something that's new on the scene, nor is a faux fur or a fur coat. These are things that are classics that will always be in style to a degree, and then they just come back, you know, with a vengeance. So I suggest getting yourself a pair of faux leather or leather pants. The shoes I chose to wear with this are the Bottega Veneta, the little strappy sandals. That way it gave it just a little bit more interest, but yet it's still very, very simple. You don't want to overdo it. You kind of want to have everything flow with a pop. You know, you want to just be effortless, but fabulous. <laughs> the bag I chose to wear is this one that I have had for years. I've got this in black and natural and I'll try to find it and put it down there because I think they still make them. I'm not sure. It's just a very, very simple bag, but it's big enough for your phone. And I love that it's kind of like a bracelet. Very minimal. I think it's eye-catching. I've just always loved these. And then the sunglasses I wore are the Preve Riveau. And Does she still have them big O key ring things that she got for everyone and their grandmother? because they were so clever that you could just hang your keys on your arm. Her life must be so difficult and complicated if she needs to buy these sort of things so she doesn't lose her keys. They are the Paris and they're polarized. So now I can't even see the screen, but I love these. I think they are so classic. They're so cool. They're just timeless and they're very sturdy, easy to put back in your hair and just perfect. Okay, the next item is... I can't believe she actually buys glasses because they look good in her hair. Who... Do people do that, really? I... This blouse with the beautiful sleeves. You guys know how much I love a sleeve. To me, this goes with everything. This and a pair of jeans, this and a pair of black pants, this and a pair of cream colored pants. That has got nightmare written all over it. I couldn't cope with that sleeve at all. That's for the woman who does nothing. Perfect for Lisa. I can't be, how do you, like you go to the loo and you try and wash your hands and you've got all that material flapping about all over the place. Nope. I've never been one for long sleeves and things dangling, even at school. <laughs> my, my teachers would always pull me when we were queuing up to go in or whatever. Are you about to do the washing up? No. Roll your shirt down then. And it's like, fuck's sake. <laughs> this and any skirt, it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous blouse. And the fact that it has these tortoise shells. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. Lovely, lovely, wonderful, wonderful. Why do we say everything twice, Lisa? Shell buttons really make it interesting. And it also has do these they? pleats and it also has the little, I always forget what this is called, but these little pieces on the side, these little splits on the side and the darts in the back. Maybe before you did the video, you should have looked it up. Seeing as though you're the new fashion guru. So they give it some shape so that if you're someone that likes to wear your shirt out, this would be a good one. It's very versatile. It's all about the sleeves to me. Think about how you look to other people, not when you're standing there like that, looking in the mirror, but when you're moving around, when you're having a drink, when you're talking, that's what you want to think about. You want to think about the movement of your hair and just 
all the different ways you're going to be noticed. And this is something that is so beautiful. I think of like Angelina Jolie when I think of this blouse because she always has very classic pieces, usually solids, a lot of times silk or cashmere, very classics, but it'll always have a little something to just add that, that interest and attention, and that's how I feel about this piece. The jeans I decided to wear are these, the Mother Tomcat jeans. Look at the size of that sleeve. How annoying would that be? And who's she giggling at? It's probably somebody walking past thinking, what the fuck is she doing dancing around outside her house? Now these are distressed jeans. You don't have to do that if you're not comfortable with that. I totally understand that. Sometimes I'm not in the mood to wear a distressed pair of jeans, but I would recommend going with the lighter. I really don't get why she's tucking everything in. That would have looked much better with the shirt hanging out in my humble opinion. Denim versus a darker denim because that's creating that contrast and it just gives it a little bit of edge. We're going for kind of like classic chic with a little bit of edge is what we're doing with with a feminine vibe. That's usually my style so that you get the... So fucking sick of vibe. How much more of this is there? 13 minutes. Oh feminine sleeves and just the feel of silk and the way it drapes over your body is very you haven't given it a chance to fucking drape over your body you shoved it in the jeans very feminine very feminine and the way like you you know you're going to be hugging people and just the way you move and everything looks great with silk and then when you pair it with the rigid denim that's always interesting just to bump it up a notch Speaking of leopard, I just wore my, these are old. These are the Stuart Weitzman, like calf hair leopard. I think they were the Nouveau. I love these, they're classic. I feel like my next favorite pump is probably the Sam Edelman Hazel pump. I will look and see if they have a leopard because these, oh my goodness. Even if you didn't want to wear a silky blouse, you could put on a white t-shirt, a pair of jeans or black pants, these and you would be good to go this is just that piece that's going to say party and just be that little bit extra and then i chose this little simple prada bag to put with it the sunglasses i chose to wear with that are these uh, going on about them shoes reminded me of a pair of shoes that i really miss i wore them to death when i worked at the um the waldorf in london we had our christmas party in february and there was a, I was going to say jumble sale then, a raffle. And I won a weekend away in Winchester. And uh, me and this other girl I work with went and we went shopping in the day. And there was this shoe shop and I went in and at the time I lived in stilettos or pumps as she calls them. And there was this pair and they were like, Barbie pink maybe but they had lace white lace over them and it was so cute and I lived in them shoes and I wanted to get another pair when I destroyed them and I could never find a pair anywhere and it was like I miss those shoes so when she was showing them then it just sort of triggered a memory and it was like yeah they would be I'd be dressed pretty plainly but the pink lace shoes were the thing that everybody noticed they're Tory Burch. They're beautiful. These are also available in black, but I thought this kind of went with the whole vibe and it went with the buttons on the shirt. It kind of tied in and it was just something a little different. And like I say, like these that I have on, just something easy to take off, put in your hair. If you don't need sunglasses, then don't wear them. But if it's going from day to night, that's an easy thing to do. Keep your hair out of your face and just add to the look. Okay, the next piece. They don't keep the, your hair out of your face though, do they? Your hair's still in your face. Piece from Lily Silk is this cashmere turtleneck. This is so yummy. This is worth getting just. Yummy. I thought only foundations were yummy. To wear around the house. I see like. What? You'd 
buy a cashmere jumper to wear around the house. Mind you, you don't do anything around the house, so it'd be fine, wouldn't it? Look, is this cashmere turtleneck. This is so yummy. This is worth getting just to wear around the house. I see, like I've always heard people talk about cashmere and I just never got it. My mom loves cashmere. And this is just beautiful. Now I will say I had a bit of a challenge figuring out how I wanted to wear this to a party. In my mind, I was thinking of kind of like a neighborhood party or a neighbor's or going over to a couple's house, you know, something casual or even like a holiday dinner where you're having your family over, something like that. So I paired it with these Gap jeans. They have the raw hem and they come up high. So I was able to get that long look with the cashmere sweater and then the shoes I put with it just brought it all together. If you've been watching my videos, I will put the video up here where I just got these from J. Crew, and they're probably still on sale. What makes these so unique to me is the mix of black and gold, and I just love that buckle. See the crystals on it? Just a gorgeous pair of shoes. And the first thing I thought of when I got these is black jeans, black denim and a faux fur with anything in these so this with this and this i was gonna say if you're wearing a faux fur it'd be cold so why would you want peep toe shoes but it doesn't get cold there does it and she wears faux furs and motos in the middle of summer so i'll shut up really was a fabulous look casual but the shoes just made it party and the sunglasses i chose to wear with that outfit these are old gucci sunglasses that i love i cannot even remember where i got them might have even been at a gucci store but i love the gradient lens and i love how they're the black and gold so it kind of tied in with the whole look and then for the bag i got really lucky this is definitely a bag i got at the nordstrom sale years ago it's a rebecca minkoff and it tied in with the shoes perfectly i love this bag brooke and i both have used this several times it was just perfect the next thing is these silk joggers beautiful now i got the size six i probably should have gotten the size four so get no. really we don't care what size you are and why do you have to keep sizing down when you do that, your camel is on parade and it's horrible. We don't want to see it. So I'm glad you got the size up. Hopefully your bits won't be showing. Get your true size. These were just the slightest bit too big on me, but I still love them and will wear them. But I just wanted to tell you for reference. So I wanted to style one outfit for someone who wants to be more casual. I really was thinking of a daytime event. Like I know at our clubhouse, they have all types of, they'll have put together puzzles, they'll have crafts, they will have bunko, they'll have wine tastings, they will have- That's where she got it from. So it's like do's at the clubhouse. And I'm sure most people probably turn up in a t-shirt, pair of shorts and flip-flops if it's a, neighbors get together at the clubhouse do you think anyone else is getting all gussied up for that i don't crafting bunko whatever the fuck bunko is jigsaw puzzle afternoon and a basket weaving and she turns up in a fucking pair of cut up to there down to there whatever the fuck she's wearing high heel shoes and her sunglasses and a fucking designer handbag I bet you all the other ladies are in there going, taking bets. What's Lisa going to be wearing today? I guarantee you she's the fucking conversation of the neighborhood and she's got no clue. Dance lessons. They'll have all kinds of activities over at the clubhouse. So you'd go for dance lessons in your harem pants, would you? So I was... Mind you, they'd be a good idea, wouldn't they? Can you just see her doing that? Thinking of like a daytime activity where you didn't want to wear heels, but you wanted to kind of look stylish. So I ended up taking the silk. Oh, I'm sorry. 
really... <laughs> this is what she'd wear to basket weaving at the clubhouse, is it? <sighs> Pants and added in the silk cami that I showed you in my last video with Lily Silk. I love this, it's beautiful. No and bra. then I took this old, old Wild Fox sweater. The Lisa D1 Originals will remember this. I love this sweater and I remember when I bought this, it was so expensive to me. I don't even remember how much it was, but I remember it was a lot. And I have- And now you couldn't give a shit how much it was never regretted it. I think I will have this for the rest of my life. It is just such a good piece. So I wore this and this and this. I recommend trying to find some good statement cardigans. Maybe a little bit fancier than you would ever think because they come in handy. I can wear that without anything under it. I can throw it on with a pair of jeans. Brooke, my daughter, has worn it so many times and it's just a really nice sweater. I don't know if you notice, it's like a tiger or a jaguar or something over the whole sweater. I don't even know what animal it is. And then for the shoes, I just threw on my Versace slides. Because these are just so fabulous, you guys, these are the most comfortable slides I have ever tried. And because of the Versace like Medusa head thing and the pattern, they're just like dressy. That just elevates a classic slide and it just, I think, makes them party appropriate, especially if it's something kind of casual. The sunglasses I wore are these little cheapies from Amazon. I kind of liked the lens color and how it went with the sequins on the sweater. It just kind of brought it all together. And these are just really cool. So I threw these on. Cheapies. God forbid she'd wear cheapy sunglasses. Why did she have to say that? Couldn't she say... These are quite reasonably priced from Amazon. No. And I forgot to grab a bag to put with that. So that would be easy. I could grab my gold bag or I could grab a solid black bag. But I think that just that whole vibe, it was something a little drapier than I'm used to, but I loved it. It's still because all of the fabrics are silk, and even that sweater is made out of nice fabric. I think it's wool. I'm not sure. Even if things... <laughs> I'm sorry. Most cardigans are made out of wool, you turnip. These are baggy like that. If they drape just right, I think you can really go with it. The next piece may be this. I don't know. I don't know what my favorite is. This is something you could wear every week. It is just a good old cashmere v-neck sweater. This is a small, it's perfect. I'm finding that all of their sizes are very true to size. They wear well. I mean, it's washable on hand wash. So I chose to put this with a faux leather skirt from Mango and I did not tuck it in, but I tucked oh, it under. Holy fuck, what is she wearing? Knee high pink boots so that she could use her pink bag, is it? That's the only out fucking out in that bag's gonna get. Outside the door, twirl around and in again. And I'm sorry, but the dark black of the black top and the not matching black of the black skirt looks awful. She has no clue. A little bit. So a lot of times my first instinct would be to I probably would never wear just like black shoes with an all black outfit like this, not this type of outfit. My first instinct was to do maybe the clear Schutz shoes or maybe a nude shoe, that would but just better. to make it special and make it, you know, party like and make it interesting, I chose to put my pink Schutz Mariana boots. Oh my goodness. These pink ones are not available anymore. The Mariana boot is, I recommend these. You know I do, I talk about them all the time. And there are other boots that you can get in pink, but this pink could not be pink. any more perfect. Pink. And it just made pink. the whole outfit beautiful. Something no. so simple like a V-neck sweater, but see it's cashmere. It's gonna hang, it just drapes on your body so nicely. It's just a skirt, but it's a faux leather skirt. And then you put these with it and it just really 
looks, looks stupid. beautiful. This outfit would be perfect for a work party or after, like. I'm sorry. If I saw you coming to a work party with that on, I'd pretend I didn't know you. Going to work and maybe you didn't even wear the boots to work. You just put these in your car and then you put them on before you went in. It just looked so pretty and I felt really good in it and it was really comfortable. So this and this sweater, oh my gosh, you can wear it with anything. Think about wearing it under a black blazer. You could wear this with a pair of black sweatpants and boots and a big oversized blazer. You're probably gonna see that on me. <laughs> I would love this in every color because it is so versatile, classic, it feels so good, and it's such a great layering piece. And I wore my pink Chanel bag. Yeah, you didn't though, did you? You just went outside the door and came in again. So you haven't, you can't count that as using it. That I got last time I went out of town to Neiman Marcus. I will link that haul for you right up there to show everything I got. I got some really good pieces. Elevated basics that would come. Ooh, she nearly said elevator then. I wonder if that made her think about the elevator people. No, it won't, will it? She doesn't think about anybody but herself and handy for party times but this bag is pretty fab handy for party times fabulous and it matches the boots it's kind of like when you're decorating or building your wardrobe if you will stay true to the things that you love and that are quintessentially you they will all end up going together and that is how this happened because i love this shade of pink see it's kind of like a warm pink. That's my favorite. So these two together with anything are gonna look fabulous. The sunglasses. No, I'm sorry. Either the bag or the boots, not both. And those boots with the leather skirt, no. I can't believe that she's got a closet in every room of the house and she's so bad at dressing herself. I put with that are just these classic Saint Laurent sunglasses. These are timeless. They're amazing. They're just great sunglasses. Very stylish, but like I said, classic chic. Now, the last item I want to share with you from Lily Silk, you guys know how I feel about a wrap dress. I don't know if there's anything more flattering and timeless, versatile. I just Versatile's getting really fucking annoying now and all. Love a wrap dress. This one is silk and it feels amazing on. One thing that really stood out when I put it on is it's very conservative. Most of them you kind of... That's a novelty for you, isn't it? Conservative. Kind of have to pin or worry about them opening, but this one really just fits so nicely. I love a wrap dress with a collar. I really prefer a collar. I just think it adds something to it. It just, it would be like, I don't know. I just feel like the dress doesn't even look the same without a collar. I love the length of the sleeves. I love the length of this, everything about it. So I chose to put it with another pair of Schutz boots which are the tan ones. I have these and I have the eggshell and I also have the snake. These are my favorite boots and they're just so comfortable. That's what I always say is if you find something that you like, go with it. Double down and get more because you will wear them. They will be so valuable. That goes with jeans, t-shirts, everything. That way you don't have to worry about finding things later and you don't have to worry about regretting not getting them. So I love these boots. I think that they're somewhat of a nude. They kind of go with my hair. So it just brings my whole look together. Mm -hmm. It's hot today here. I mean, hot. I was like sweating on the porch. But I wanted to show you how good a wrap dress, this is very American hustle, how good a wrap dress looks with like a faux fur or a big coat. So this is the teddy coat I showed you in last Friday's video from J. Crew. Look at this. But see, Lisa, most people wear a coat out of necessity due to the weather. And then when they get where they're going, they take the fucking thing off and they do not put it back on when they stand up. A coat 
is not part of an outfit. I don't care how many times you try and fit it in. Nobody keeps their coat on, only you. Do you remember when she used to do her Friday haul in the old house and she'd be sat at the dining table with a full outfit on and a coat because that was the look? And it's like, really? Woman's insane. Oh, my goodness. I think that's the beauty of the silk is how well it layers because it's thin enough but not too thin. Your hair looks terrible there. And, and everything just like slides right over it and goes right with it. So like, look at this look. These are the sunglasses. They're the Ray-Bans I just showed you in my last video. So I feel like these kind of pull the boots in with more of that, you know, natural color. I'm sorry. Just looking at her there now, what came to mind was the walk of shame. She looks like she's just woken up in somebody else's bed and she's about to creep out and go home. Her hair's a mess. The coat doesn't go with the dress. She's put the glasses on so no one can see her. <laughs> like kids do. You can't see me. No, you can't see me. <laughs> but it does. she looks like she's about to do the walk of shame. The bag I chose with this is my new Lulu puffer and just the gold just gives it a pop and I just think it's beautiful. I love this. Poor Lulu. No, I'm sorry. That's the worst one, I think, apart from the one with the camel toe. Look, to me, this is just it. I don't care where I'm going, if I'm just going shopping or anywhere and see how simple it was. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you got a little bit of inspiration. I really think that you would enjoy each of these Lily Silk pieces. I still have my cashmere little suit from last year. It hasn't been cold enough to wear that yet. And I will link my last video so you can see those classic pieces too, like the slip Ooh. skirt and the slip Ooh. dress and all of those things. I do not think that you will regret it. And all of these pieces I will try that's her new line as well, have you noticed? I do not think that you will regret it. Talk about brainwashing people to buy two ton of shite. Try to link, but really just use it as inspiration for finding pieces that you like, maybe finding things in your closet and putting them together in a different way. That's my favorite thing. I think that's why I like Pinterest so much because I like to take that look and try to recreate it with what I have. So- No, you don't, you lying fucker. You see something on Pinterest or fucking Instagram and you have to go out and buy the exact thing. It's like I keep referring to it. I will find a picture one day where she saw a girl and then she hunted down this stupid like Baker Boy hat and she looked like a fucking donut in it. But she had to get it because it looked so good on the girl. And it's like, did you not try it on in the shop and think, yeah, she could carry it off, but I can't. No, because narcs think they're amazing. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. Thank you to you for being here and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Oh, she said thank you to me. Where's the cat? What, no cat pick? I'm all confused now. Right, thank you very much if you lasted to the end with me and I will catch you in the next one.